Hello everybody, welcome back to Addy Aviates. This video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to connect your iPad to Microsoft Flight Simulator. First thing you want to do is check the link in the description and that is going to be to events.flighttracker.tech Once you get that loaded up it's going to look something like this and what you're going to do is you're going to go over to join and you're going to download the flight events client for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I already have mine downloaded but you would do this and then you would open it and it would have you download the flight events app um, so once you get the app what you're gonna do is you're gonna open it up this little window will pop up once you open the flight events app and you can change your call sign I'm prime air so I'll just do prime air so just to know because you can also check the map on flightevents.com or flighttracker.com and then you can start your flight tracking but the way to get it to your iPad is you're gonna go over to settings and you're gonna go over and get an app called ForeFlight and that is gonna be on your iPad that you're gonna get from the App Store it's called ForeFlight so once you open ForeFlight you're gonna go to the map more tab the little hamburger tab you're gonna find devices it's a little purple icon with a plug it's called devices you're gonna tap on devices you're gonna press the little I the information and then it's gonna tell you your IP and you're gonna type the IP code for that device that you were using into this IP address box so I'll do that and then you're gonna do broadcast data to local network then you can get out of there and it says flight events connected you'll go over to maps you'll go this top right button up here I'm currently in Atlanta right now parked at the gates or the parking the cargo parking and as you can see here we are parked at the cargo parking thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video helped you make sure to leave a like and subscribe see ya